Please subscribe to my channel and click on the bell icon to get the regular updates of my channel and do not forget to like, comment and share. Hello everyone. Welcome back to SaaS with ServiceNow. This session is part of ServiceNow Discovery Training and is also part of section Discovery Applications and Modules. And the section is running a quick discovery. We will run a quick discovery in our instance and discover our own mid server machine, which is a Windows server. ServiceNow already has access to this machine. So there should not be any kind of issue fetching information of this machine. Let's see how discovery runs and complete a cycle of running discovery in different phases. Before I run discovery, I will just validate mid servers of my instance because that's a prerequisite for running discovery in ServiceNow. So I will go to mid servers, click on servers over here. You will see these two mid servers which we installed on one Windows machine, that is Windows Server 2012. You must have seen installation of these mid servers in my previous video, which was part of the section of mid server. Now both the mid servers are up and running and they are also validated. Let's open one racket and we will see whether this mid server is enabled for discovery feature or not. How we will see that? You go to this related list, supported applications. Now, as of now, all is already selected, which means all types of applications can use this mid server, including discovery. So I don't have to select discovery application separately in this related list. Now let's go to Windows machine where mid servers are installed. So here is our Windows machine where we have installed mid server. Let me ask a question. How discovery will be able to connect to internal network machines? We know it got access via mid server. However, how discovery will come to know what machine it has to discover. Now all the machines in the network will always have one unique thing and that is address. And that address is IP address. So discovery uses IP address, which is a unique address of different machines and devices. So we will find the IP address of this machine first before we run the discovery. You have to specify that IP address in your ServiceNow instance so that discovery can be launched for that particular IP address. So let's go to command prompt. So we have command prompt on the server and let's try to look for IP address of this particular machine. So I will just type IP config and I will press enter. Now here is the IP address, this IPv4, this one, this is the IP address of this particular machine. Now, as this is a mid server machine, you can see same IP address on mid server record as well. So if you will go to mid server record in your instance, you will see the same IP address over here as well. Now we need to discover this particular IP address. We have to fetch all the information about this IP address. What device we have as of now, we don't know. We don't have that information in our this particular instance. But how we will come to know about it? Because we will run the discovery. So let's run a quick discovery on this instance. So I will go to discovery application. I will click on discovery schedules. You will find this button over here that is quick discovery. Click on it. You will see this pop up where you have to provide the IP address of that particular machine. 
Now we are just running the quick discovery. So I will provide one IP address and that is 172. Maybe we can just take a look 16.220 and then we have dot three. And now here I can select the mid server that with mid which mid server I want to run this discovery. So if I click on this, it will give me those two mid server. I can select anyone. Let's select this one. And if I will click on OK, this will run the discovery. So if I will click on OK, I will see a new record created in this particular list that is discovery status. And which says active as of now. So I will click on this record. That means discovery has been launched. And you can see in this new record, we have a state as active. Now discovery process has started. So it has started running and now it will go into different phases of discovery and try to fetch different information of that particular device, the device for which you have provided the IP address. Now here you can see some logs, some other details as well for this discovery which is running currently. So here we have logs, you can see discovery got started. And it says it started, it found something because it is, it is trying to connect with this IP address. Now it is trying to classify. And if I go to devices, you can see it has found this device. As of now, it is trying to classify it. So we have provided that IP address. It has populated the IP address, but it has not populated other details yet. It is still trying to find more details on that particular machine because discovery is still running. So as of now, you can see we have two activities. One is completed. So if I, let's say I reload it. So you can see three got started, two got completed. What exactly that two? So now you can see here, it has identified. That is a Windows server you can see here automatically. I have not mentioned that detail. I just provided the IP address to in service now instance. That's it. In discovery configuration. That's it. But system automatically found that that is a Windows server machine, which you can see over here. So it has now classified it. That means system has classified that. Hey, is it a Unix machine? Is it a Windows machine? So now it has classified it is a Windows Server machine. The class is Windows Server. But as of now, CMDB is not populated yet. Now, if I go to the next related list, that is ECCQ, which shows the logs of input and output messages which are going via mid server. So you can see all different logs and activities happening via mid server. And I can click on refresh as well. It will try to refresh all other logs as well. I think as of now, it's still trying to run. So you can see the third log in this particular discovery log. Here you can see uh, now classifying. So classification is already done. And now it is trying to identify that. Okay, I got I got to know about this. The classification is Windows Server, but now I need to identify it. Hey, what machine is it? What's its name? What kind of information it has, what kind of files it has, what kind of software it has, it will auto populate all those informations in CMDB automatically with the help of discovery. This will take a little bit, I would say a little bit time uh, as it trying to gather all the information from that particular machine. If I refresh the record, you can see it says completed, which means this discovery has processed the, all the records and it is done with all the phases of discovery. Now, if I will go to devices, you can see this field CMDB CI is populated. You can see a record over here. This is a reference field and you can see this record which was empty before. When we were running the discovery, this was empty, but now it has created a new CI in CMDB and you can see here as well. It says completed activity created CI. And if I go to logs, 
you can see it try to search a lot of different information with the help of different patterns probes and it is keep on running keto keep on checking different rules and then at last discovery got completed and it populated those information and it created that ci that means this ci was not available in my instance so if i go over here and i click on this record so whatever records, whatever devices discovery will try and try to discover, you can see this kind of records. So here you can see we have CMDB CI. If I will click this button, it will basically open that particular CI with all the information of that Windows machine, which is a VMware machine. Absolutely. So you can now understand the power of discovery application. I didn't put any information that whether it is installed on me VM server, where exactly it is installed, what's the model ID, uh, what's the name, what operating system it has installed. You can see it automatically went to that system and automatically populated all those information, even the operating system, even the OS version, ID, name. And if I go, the interesting part comes here because if I go little bit bottom, you can see all other information as well for your machine. And that is the very important, powerful feature of discovery. That it tried to find that machine. However, it also additionally, it tried to find other information as well, like starting with network adapter. So we have one network adapter in that virtual machine that is Ethernet zero. Then if I go to storage device, how many storage we have so it is saying just one storage sas and which is 60 gb so we created basically i created that windows machine with 60 gb of storage and that's what it is showing over here then i go to file system that how many file system we have so there if i go to that machine quickly and i go to maybe here you can see we have c drive we have d drive which is a cd drive and if I come over here, you can see it is a CD and DVD and this one is fixed and another one is system reserved. Whenever you will install Windows machine, you will always have this file system as well, which, which gets created automatically by Windows. Then I go to in software installed. And this is also a powerful feature that whatever softwares are installed in that machine, discovery will automatically populate that detail as well as of now it has internet explorer version as well and it has this windows operating system that is windows 2012 r2 operating system then on windows machine you have a lot of processes which runs on on that particular machine you can see that information as well what all processes are running you can see in this particular related list then we have serial numbers, then we have CI IPs. What exactly the IP we have? You can see it says IP address. We have also the subnet of that particular IP uh, machine that is 255.255.255.0. It is also showing you the NIC that what kind of uh, NIC card you have that that network adapter, which you can see over here as well. Then we have memory mod module in that machine. We have added 2 GB of memory that is RAM and you can see it has RAM slot 2 GB that is 248 MB 2048 MB then we have TCP connections and the last one is tracked configuration file in Windows machine in that particular Windows machine whatever configuration files you have system is populating that so discovery is also able to fetch those configuration files information as well now there is a different module which shows that data separately as well we learned about it and that is tracked configuration file so all those four records you will see here as well and if you will open it you can see the information about those configuration files it is also showing that on what machine these configuration files are available so this is how you can run a discovery in ServiceNow and populate data in CMDB. Now, as I have this CMDB record, so if I click this again, 
I can create any incident record, maybe problem record, change record, because this is now a CI. And if I have to raise any incident or a change or a problem, I can create it by tagging this particular configuration item. And if I see which table it got created, if I talk about class perspective, um, I just go to, let's say, table. Basically, it's a Windows server. So you can see the label is Windows server, CMDB CI win server which is basically extended from server. So overall, this got created in Windows Server class. Thanks for watching this video and have a great day.